ladies and gentlemen and Ford F-150 do-it-yourselfers of all ages, welcome to the Mark Man M2 video series. This is Mark Man. First, let me recommend a fuel filter for your fifth generation Ford F-150. The required skill level for this procedure is slightly above average, or 5.5, somewhere in between falling off a log and rocket surgery. Hi, I am your AI-generated master mechanic. To replace the fuel filter on your F-150 you are going to need a fuel line quick disconnect tool. May I recommend the Napa Automotive Part Number, BK7769081. Also, importantly, please remember your fuel line may be under pressure. Do not have any potential sparks or open flames near your work area. Protect your eyes. Rags and a bucket will usually be enough to contain any gasoline spillage. As always, please be careful. And now, without delay, the meat and potatoes. Your fuel filter is located directly under the rocker panel on the driver's side. I recommend that you first remove the bracket, which is a single 13mm nut just outside the frame. Having the bracket off will allow you to swing the filter and the fuel lines down. Remove the two secondary clamp clips. Now this is by far the most difficult of all the procedures. You're going to insert the tool in between the line and the filter and push the line off the filter. This requires a little bit of strength but mostly finesse. Make sure you get the tool inserted incorrectly and then push forward. Use the same procedure in the opposite direction to get the back fuel line off the back of the filter. Since your truck is older, if the fuel filter has not been changed for some time, this can be frustrating. Use a little WD-40 or other type of spray lubricant and shoot it into the area. Now for the good news, the new filter will go on very easily. You do not need the tool, just take the lines and press it on the front and back of the filter. If you remove the bracket as I recommended, put the filter back in the bracket, put the bolt through the frame and attach the 13 millimeter nut. Snap the secondary clamps back into place and you're good to go. Make sure that the fuel flow arrow is in the proper direction. For the purpose of the filter, the fuel flows from the gas tank to the engine compartment. In this video, I'm highly recommending that you observe all safety procedures. If you're lifting your truck up, remember jacks can fail and come crashing down. Also, your fuel line is pressurized and may release fuel. Disconnect the negative side of your battery to avoid any potential for sparks. And please, try to be as organized as possible. This will help the procedures go as smoothly as possible.